classification Internationally there are several accepted classification methods for handheld fire extinguisher. Each classification is useful in fighting fires with the particular group of fuel. Australia and New Zealand specifications for fire extinguishers are set out in the standard as NZS 1841, the most recent version being released in 2007. All fire extinguishers must be painted signal red. Except for water extinguishers, each extinguisher has a colored band near the top covering at least 10% of the extinguisher's body length, specifying its contents. In Australia, yellow, halon, fire extinguishers are illegal to own or use on a fire, unless an essential use exemption has been granted, this is due to the ozone-depleting nature of halon. United Kingdom Typical United Kingdom CO2 and water fire extinguishers according to the standard BSN-3. Fire extinguishers in the United Kingdom as all throughout Europe are red REL 3000, and a band or circle of a second color covering between 5 to 10% of the surface area of the extinguisher indicates the contents. Before 1997, the entire body of the fire extinguisher was color-coded according to the type of extinguishing agent. The UK recognizes six fire classes. Class of fires involve organic solids such as paper and wood. Class B fires involve flammable or combustible liquids, including petrol, grease, and oil. Class C fires involve flammable gases. Class D fires involve combustible metals. Class E fires involve electrical equipment slash appliances. Class F fires involve cooking fat and oil. Class E has been discontinued, but covered fires involving electrical appliances. This is no longer used on the basis that, when the power supply is turned off, an electrical fire can fall into any of the remaining five categories. In the UK, the use of hail on gas is now prohibited except under certain situations, such as on aircraft and in the military and police. Fire extinguishing performance per fire classes displayed using numbers and letters such as 13A. 55B.E and 3 does not recognize a separate electrical class. However there is an additional feature requiring special testing, 35 kV dielectric test per N37-2004. A powder or CO2 extinguisher will bear an electrical ectogram as standard signifying that it can be used on live electrical fires, given the symbol E in the table. If a water-based extinguisher has passed the 35 kV test it will also bear the same electrical pictogram. However, any water-based extinguisher is only recommended for inadvertent use on electrical fires. United States an ABC powder, monoammonium phosphate, fire extinguisher. There is no official standard in the United States for the color of fire extinguishers, though they are typically red except for Class D extinguishers which are usually yellow, water and Class K wet chemical extinguishers which are usually silver, and water mist extinguishers which are usually white. Extinguishers are marked with pictograms depicting the types of fires that the extinguisher is approved to fight. In the past, extinguishers were marked with colored geometric symbols, and some extinguishers still use both symbols. The types of fires and additional standards are described in NFPA 10, Standard for Portable Fire Extinguishers, 2010 edition. Fire extinguishing capacity is rated in accordance with ANSI, L711, Rating and Fire Testing of Fire Extinguishers. The ratings are described using numbers preceding the class letter, such as 1A 10BC. The number preceding the A multiplied by 1.25 gives the equivalent extinguishing capability in gallons of water. The number preceding the B indicates the size of fire in square feet that an ordinary user should be able to extinguish. There is no additional rating for Class C, 
as it only indicates that the extinguishing agent will not conduct electricity, and an extinguisher will never have a rating of just C. For additional USL rating information, see Fast Flow Extinguishers Installation of Fire Extinguisher fitted to the passenger seat of a car. Fire extinguishers are typically fitted in buildings at an easily accessible location, such as against a wall in a high traffic area. They are also often fitted to motor vehicles, watercraft, and aircraft. This is required by law in many jurisdictions, for identified classes of vehicles. Under NFPA 10 all commercial vehicles must carry at least one fire extinguisher, with size, all rating depending on type of vehicle and cargo, that is, fuel tankers typically must have a 20 pounds, 9.1 kilograms, while most others can carry a 5 pounds, 2.3 kilograms. The revised NFPA 10 created criteria on the placement of fast flow extinguishers in locations such as those storing and transporting pressurized flammable liquids and pressurized flammable gas or areas with possibility of three-dimensional class B hazards are required to have fast flow extinguishers as required by NFPA 5.5.1.1. Varying classes of competition vehicles require fire extinguishing systems, the simplest requirements being a 1A colon 10 BC handheld portable extinguisher mounted to the interior of the vehicle. The height limit for installation, as determined by the National Fire Protection Association, NFPA, is 60 in, 1.5 meters, for fire extinguishers weighing less than 40 pounds. 18 kilograms. However, compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act (ADA) also needs to be followed within the United States. The ADA height limit of the fire extinguisher, as measured at the handle, is 48 in 1.2 meters. Fire extinguisher installations are also limited to protruding no more than 4 inches into the adjacent path of travel. The ADA rule states that any object adjacent to a path of travel cannot project more than 4 in, 10 centimeters, if the object's bottom leading edge is higher than 27 in, 0.69 meters. The 4-inch protrusion rule was designed to protect people with low vision and those who are blind. The height limit rule of 48 in is primarily related to access by people with wheelchairs but it is also related to other disabilities as well. Prior to 2012, the height limit was 54 in, 1.4 meters, for side reach by wheelchair accessible installations. Installations made prior to 2012 at the 54 inch height are not required to be changed.